I have a question for you. Have you ever heard of bacon jam? I mean, it sounds delightful, doesn't it? If you have, then you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, well, let me tell you, it is some of the most surprisingly awesome foods out there. I mean, it's the bomb. And I'm gonna show you how to make it, and we're gonna show you a use for it right now. We start with, oh, imagine that, bacon. I mean, there's literally six ingredients to making bacon jam. Some of the best ingredients you're gonna find out there. I wanna start by just cutting our bacon up. Now I'm just gonna cut up a whole thing of bacon, it's 12 ounces. Do more if you want, do less if you want, that's your call. All right, bacon is complete. I'm gonna throw some EVOO down into the pan. And then we're gonna throw it down on the Cuisinart 360 grill. Let's give our bacon a stir. I think it's time to add some shallots. So I have here two whole shallots. If you don't wanna use shallots, use onions. But I'm gonna just get this all mixed up together. Now, depending upon how you like your bacon, depends upon how much you cook it. Next ingredient is some red pepper flakes. And this is gonna give our bacon jelly the heat that we need. Stir them in there. Let's get another little bit in there. Get them all stirred in there. Our next ingredient is gonna give us a sweet, and that's the honey. And this is some local honey out of Eastern Idaho. You put as much or as little as you want, because at this point, we're just putting in ingredients. We will adjust our ingredients here in a little bit as we get closer to the final product. Our next ingredient going in is some Patty Joe beer. But if you don't have any Patty Joe beer, grab yourself a blonde ale. That works perfect. If you're not into the blonde ales or alcoholic beer at all, go with non-alcoholic. I used about a quarter of that beer in here. Now we want to kind of let the beer just glaze down a little bit. And once we get that glaze, then we're going to start experimenting with the flavor. Now the fun part begins. As you can see, the beer is starting to glaze up a little bit. I think it needs more honey. Yeah, you can tell it starts glazing up when you go like that and you see the bottom of your pan and it doesn't automatically fill in that backspace. A few minutes are down, let's just give it a taste. Boy, you sure get that sweet out of it. I wanna add just a little beer to it, a little more Patty Joe beer. Let that stuff cook down again. Give it a shot, but I think we are so close. Add a little salt to this, we're ready to rock and roll. Because I think we're so close, I turned down the heat on the Cuisinart. Just want to test this out. Oh, sweet. Sweet with a little bite. I'll throw some salt in here. We're going to put this on a slow simmer and let it cook it down. And I think it's time to try it because this is spot on. Our bacon's done. Our bacon jam, that is. Looks freaking awesome. So what do you do with it from here? Well, that's easy. Just take it out. Let it kind of cool off a little bit, but I want to leave that residual beer and honey in the bottom of the pan because this is going to go great with a couple of burgers. These burgers are in the pan, ready to go. I've got all of that residual bacon jelly around it. Perfect. We're gonna cook these up, and then we're gonna build one heck of a burger. You know me, I like burgers. I do wanna show you a real quick shot of the burgers cooking in that jam that we made with the bacon. And look, we even got Miss Pac-Man going on there. All right, these are getting close to being done. We're gonna throw some cheese on it. And it's time to try this out. Our burgers are done. 
Before we put our bacon jam onto the burger though, I just want to try it out by itself. You get the heat from the peppers, you get the sweet from the honey, a little bit of that beer flavor in there and some bacon. Mm, so good. You could eat this just by itself. I bet you could put it on eggs, whatever you want. It's so, so good. But we're kind of getting a double whammy here when it comes to that burger because it was also cooked inside that bacon jelly, what was left over. Comes the bacon jelly, you put as much on this as you want. Now remember, this isn't about the burger. This video is about the bacon jam. But as you can see, the results, pretty awesome. I'm serious, pretty damn awesome. So we've already tried the bacon jam, let's try this. Mm. This burger is messy, but so, so good. I don't even know where to begin to tell you where the flavors start on this because it is so layered. Mm. And that bite, a little bit of the jalapeno, that bacon jam, man, just blasts right through it. It is money on this burger. And you know, you got a regular burger with some cheese on it. But holy moly, it's messy and delicious. There you have it. Give it a try. Tell me how it goes. And I will see you on the next episode of the Dude's Kitchen and Grill.